What's going on people, Anime Analyst here with a Digimon Adventure Tribe video. The video is going to be about Digimon Adventure Tribe Part 3 Confession. With that being said, spoiler alert. I'm about to just go straight into this. If you have not watched it, do not go and watch it right now. Don't look any farther. I'm telling you right now. But yeah. Okay, after watching Part 3 Confessions, we learn some new things. The dude known that we saw who had the face of Ken in the previous parts, that is not Ken. It seems to be an evil Genai. Genai is the old dude from Digimon Adventure 02 or 01, the old dude with the ponytail. Uh, that the, He's from the, a race of digital humans that created the Digivices and the Crest and all the other type of stuff and they uh, took care of like, the Digidestin's eggs before they became their Digimon. So. There's an evil Genai, basically. We see this because when the Ken, who we thought was Ken, takes off his transformation, it's young Genai in a black garb. Usually, they don't even wear black garbs. They were like, it's kind of like a, you know how Jedis were like the light brown type stuff? They kind of wear that. But he was wearing a completely black gown, like little robe. And then he was talking to the IAA girl, Maki, who's apparently evil and once he took off the the ken disguise he looked at her and was like saying whatever union or whatever when he saw the digi destins get partnered back up with their digimon in the rebooted digital world so he's looking at her like hey da 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 so they're scheming up together now uh the boy ao digimon he came up with a theory about this he's a he's a digimon youtuber he came up with a theory about how it could be Evil Genon. You were correct, dude. Shouts out to you. I remember when you made that video. Now, what does this mean in my terms? Pretty much, he... Well, what does it mean? He is probably the one that created Meikuman and the infection that she has. Considering that they are from a group of people who create the Digivices and create the eggs. that, And so he probably created the infected Meikuman and basically dropped it off in the human world that's so that uh, some girl could come pick it up, which she did, which is the May girl, came and picked up the Digimon, not knowing that it was basically a bait to just come and destroy everything. It kind of reminds me of in Dragon Ball Super how Zamasu is a god of, god of creation, but he's basically evil. It's like the always the ones that are in charge of creating stuff. There's always one that's like defected or evil. So it, uh, it makes sense that Meikuman didn't just come from nowhere. It's probably his doing. I just wanted to get that out the way. Other than that, these episodes follow uh, up from part two. It's like the follow up from part two, of course, uh, where Meikuman turned completely evil, killed Leoman, and went back into the digital void to just go destroy stuff. So. Meikuman is infected and plans on infecting all the other Digimon and infecting like the electronics in the real world. So Meikuman's on Rampage and this these episodes are basically trying to stop Meikuman and push Meikuman back into the digital void. But the digi digital world god comes forth and speaks through Kairi's body and says a reboot is going to be necessary in order to protect. A great sacrifice is going to be required in order to protect the digital world. So, they're saying, yo, this reboot might be required. Shit ends up getting rebooted. Just put it that way because they had a fight with Meikuman. All the Digimon got infected except Tentomon. And he was still sitting there fighting them. By the end of the day, they were all rebooted. So... This opens up new plot because now that everything is rebooted in the digital world, everything got rewinded. So the Digimon do not know their Digidestin now. They don't know them because everything's been rebooted. So the Digidestin is feeling alone after the uh, di their Digimon are rebooted. They jump back into the digital world finally. So we get some progression finally after like months of waiting they're finally in the digital world where shit's really about to just go down because that's where everything happens when they get to the digital world they see alphamon and jessmon fighting hack if you guys remember hackmon the little 
investigating Digimon that was investigating stuff and trying to give the Digi Destin tips. The last episodes, Jessmon is the royal knight form of that Digimon. So I'm I'm thinking that it's the same. It's Hackmon in royal knight form, the one that was trying to help them. So uh, Alpha Mon still must be evil or infected. So I'm thinking that at the end we get that little evil Genai and uh, the IAA girl being evil part and the Digi Destin reunite with their rebooted Digimon. So the, these episodes really weren't, it was nothing special. It was really boring to me. Like I was just sitting there like, bro, oh my goodness. Until the last episode, complete boring, bro. Tell me what you guys think. Was this was this really like boring considering how long we waited? Like they really need to switch up the way how they're progressing these episodes because for wait, waiting this long, that's not cool, bro. But yeah, it wasn't. I don't have the patience to really do it a full review because it was a lot of bullshit that really did not even fucking matter in this episode just a whole bunch of feely feely stuff i'm not saying that that is not important i'm saying that a lot of it really didn't need to be there and it's like it would kind of just become rambling if i talked about all the emotions that were just in the first uh the first like three episodes of this part three because they were just talking about how Mekuman's gone oh my gosh we feel bad for the girl who owns Mekuman uh what can we do to help like uh we need to stop the infection that's like duh and we that just went on for like three episodes but then it started getting like picking up towards the last two so overall i would give this a this uh part three a I'm going to just give it out of 5. I would give it a, a 2.5 out of 5. 2.5 out of 5. Because the way they had it, there was no, I was not messing with it, man. And in the end, like, it wasn't, it didn't even feel like, I never felt like hype or anything like that. So, I mean, that's not necessary to feel hype and stuff, but I'm just saying. But, yeah. That's really all I had to say. Call it a, I don't mean, you can't really, you can call it a review if you want, but like, that's just what I had to say about Digimon Adventure Try Part 3. Leave your thoughts down below. What do you think about the evil Genai type thing? Uh, what are some stuff that you might have picked up on that I might not have picked up on? Because I don't pick up on everything, considering this is six months. Like, every six months, I tend to forget. But that was just my thoughts, my opinions. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. As I said, like the video or dislike the video, comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.